Good evening, I'm Jeff Notkin, host of Meteorite Men, the television series on Science Channel. I'm also a science writer, meteorite specialist, and a space program fan. And there is nowhere in the world that I would rather be right now than at Space Fest, Arizona. And I'm also the owner of Airlight Meteorites, which is a commercial company. We recover, analyze, and study meteorite specimens and make them available to collectors, museums, and institutions worldwide. Prize piece of the display here at Space Fest. This is an iron meteorite that fell to Earth about 5,600 years ago. It's called Campo del Cielo, which means the field of heaven or the field of, field of the sky, which I think is a very appropriate name for a meteorite. And uh, this weighs in at a little under 80 pounds. And it's not that big, really, so you get an idea of the density. This is one of my favorites. This comes all the way from Australia. It's called Henbury. And this is a crater-forming iron, which means it was traveling at sufficient velocity and had sufficient mass to form a crater. And Henbury is a remarkable site in central Australia where there are 15 craters in close proximity. And you see the really twisted, blasted shape. It's because this literally exploded when it hit the ground. I'm giving a lecture this evening at 8 o'clock the first full day of Space Fest, and I have brought a slideshow with me that includes photographs of our adventures all over the world, and I will be talking about some of the techniques that we use in meteorite hunting, and also some of the unusual tools, metal detectors, ground penetrating radar, even satellite imagery. We've even used very sophisticated, unexploded ordnance detectors that were designed for the military. So in our work, we get to play with a lot of big toys. And then I will do a little question and answer because astronomy and space program enthusiasts always have excellent questions about space rocks and how they got here. Good evening, I'm Jeff Notkin, host of Meteorite Men, the television series on Science Channel. I'm also a science writer, meteorite specialist, and a space program fan. And there is nowhere in the world that I would rather be right now than at Space Fest, Arizona.